that one. I love window shots. And a chap running through, did we get him? Hey you, what's going through my mind? I mean, it just looks like a spaceship, just can't stop, can I? So here we are, central London, the famous Piccadilly Circus. I've got my Canon, my old school workhorse with me, the Canon 5D Mark IV, and I've got a 50 mil 1.2 lens. I'm gonna upgrade this setup soon. I'm, I'm actually thinking about the Panasonic Lumix S5 uh, Mark II, I think it's called, my cousin. Uh, recommended me that but also the R6 Mark II but anyway we're here today and we haven't got a plan we are going to have a wander around and see what we can find normally when I come out and do photography I'm looking for reflections or I'm looking for people in shops or I'm doing the underground or I'm doing people I'm doing something but today I'm just out to explore it's quite overcast um, it would be nice if the sun was out and then you get those nice long shadows. That's what I was hoping for anyway, but it's London. Um, and it's the end of October, it's coming into November and it's still 15 degrees, which is crazy, actually. I can't believe it's so warm in London. But here we are, let's see. Um, I haven't really got a plan on where we're gonna go. I think I might take a wander into Chinatown a little bit, uh, maybe down onto Millennium Bridge. Uh, and then over onto South Bank. I love the South Bank. There, there are some shots in South Bank that I just absolutely love. So we're gonna have a little wonder, see where we end up and take from there. Loads of people out, the dancers are out. Everybody's out today. This could be a nice shot. So here, I don't know if you can see my settings on here. Let's see if we can get this person coming down the stairs there. Getting a bit of it, this in the foreground, a bit of a staircase in the foreground. Let's touch focus there and just wait for somebody to make that move up. Would be lovely if we had some long shadows here, but we haven't got that today. So there's not much we can do. Someone carrying a pram down for the lady, gentlemen. There we go. Yeah, if we had the sun out and some long shadows, that would be amazing. Anyway not going to stay here too long for the sake of this video I would normally hang around for the right shot in places but for the sake of this video we're just gonna rock on to the next place but photography is about finding your frame for me anyway it's about finding your frame street photography is about finding your frame adjusting your settings and then getting comfortable and waiting for the right shot to come but obviously can't do that today otherwise the, vi the video is going to be you know five six hours long so when, when so yeah so, so so when you're when you're out doing your photography find your frame find your lighting and wait for the right thing to happen for you um, and just experiment just go out and play like today don't know what's going to happen um, might actually do some portraits of people as well don't know what's going to happen um, Let's have a quick look down here. I don't want to head into um, Leicester Square, but let's have a quick look down here. I know that would look really good at night. It's not going to look fantastic today, but it's something about those lights that I just like. Right there. There's two old ladies just pushing their, their little trolleys along. There's a lady going to walk through the frame. There she is, right centre. Let's see if we can get these two in the centre. Try centre. The frame, touch focus. So I like that. That looks really cool.
if the right person came along at the right time, that could look really, really cool. With some long shadows. Maybe something a bit lower down like this. But again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay here all day, but that is a really nice frame. I really like that. Um, I would normally stay and wait for the right thing to happen. But we're gonna move on. And this is quite nice, this neon light. a cinematic shot here so I really like that so we're just gonna wait for the right person to come along see what we get there's someone coming along nope they've gone into the coffee shop So I really want someone walking closer to the glass there. Okay, we're going to move on. But that's a lovely shot. for that shot but I'll remember that for next time next time I've got a wide lens with me I'll come out and I will I will come back to that place quite like it I like the look of this place and I love I love window shots I really really do um, there you go someone walking through the frame there as well I like that there's a child in that window so I'm not going to do that one but window shots are great just like people just getting on with their lives watching the world go by and taking a lovely window shot okay we're gonna head into Chinatown see what we find in there I mean the lighting's really bad it's so flat it's very disappointing but you have to go out and you have to just play and learn look at this chap look at him amazing Yeah, so even though the lighting's not amazing, it's still nice to just go out and, and play. Um, find new places, discover some new angles, put them in the memory bank, and then come back for next time. So I don't know if you can see, but that chap down there looks amazing. But I just haven't got a, a, uh, a zoom lens, otherwise that would be brilliant. I quite like that chap just sitting down looking at his phone. Something about it that I just like. These people just looking at the menu there. It's not fantastic. That is something. So sometimes you have the Chinese man chopping in the window. There we go. So 
quite like the way that guy's just sat there. That's quite cool. I like that shot, that last shot there of the guy just sitting there. It looks like it was in China. Well, we are in Chinatown. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zip through Chinatown. I'm not gonna hang around for too long, but I mean, it's fantastic at night time when, when the neon lights come on and the, and the sun goes down a little bit. You can get some amazing, amazing, amazing shots. It really is a fantastic place. And, and you can get some really great food there as well. If you know the right places to pop into, you can get some really, really great snacks. So it's a cool place to hang out. It really is. This is a great place for some buns and crepes. You can get some really nice crepes from here. Check it out. And down here on the left, we're just coming down Newport Place now onto Little Newport Street. So if you take a left here, I'll show you very quickly. I'll show you very quickly. You might get a shot of somebody in the window preparing the pancakes. Let's have a look. I've been now knowing it for a while. Where is it gone? Oh, all right. Has it gone? Has it disappeared? No, these two places. Deep fried chicken and bubble tea. This place here, good friend. The Chinese tapas house. These two are great places to go to for a quick snack. And Leicester Square Station is just over there. So here we are, Trafalgar Square, the National Gallery. Not really much going on, apart from a big queue to get in. Um, yeah, normally, again, when the sun's out, we've got some amazing lines here. Um, people sitting down, people walking, and so on. And Nelson's um, column over there. You get a, a, a beautiful shadow, but not today. Oh, there's some art over here. This is, looks quite nice. Oh, we can maybe do something with that hand. So a flat shot, I'm thinking, against that hand with the right person walking through it, like this lady coming up. Hold on, let's see if we can get this quickly. Let's frame it. This lady's coming up. If we can get it, her in the palm of the hand. It didn't quite work. There's uh, another lady coming here. That one. There you go. Look at that. Love that. Love that. But again, I would hang around for longer um, and get the right type of shot. There's some eyes there and there's like a leading line of posts going towards the eyes. if we can do something with that let's have a look something about that that i like kind of lends its way to those eyeballs So I'm not going to hang around for too long because it, we are losing light and oh, no, 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 no. 
it's actually starting to rain a little bit. But let's see, let, let's just wait here for 30 seconds or so and see what we can get. Let's chat walking through here. Umbrella. That one's quite nice. The umbrella lady walking through the middle of the frame there. Oh look, someone's parked their car right in the middle of Trafalgar Square. There's not too much going on here without without the sun. It looks a bit looks a bit naff. I do like taking pictures of people interacting with London City. Um, it's something really magical about the way people interact with the city, the different textures, uh, the different colours, uh, the different, different lighting conditions. It's, it's really fantastic. Oh, look at that little green mini over there. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that outside back in Buckingham Palace would be fantastic. <laughs> But yeah, when taking pictures of, of people through, through the city, you, you just got to be careful. You just got to be conscious and, and use your common sense. Yes, you're on public property and yes, you're allowed to take pictures of people, but you don't want to piss people off. You don't want to annoy people. I mean, I don't want a camera stuck right in my face, but if you're discreet um, and you know, you can also ask permission. Ask permission if you're allowed to take a picture of a person. It is the... Uh, nicer thing to do so we are losing light drastically now we're heading down to millennium bridge oh that's a nice shot i quite like this i'm gonna get this framed up and i'm gonna wait for this elderly couple to walk through this frame here uh might have to remove that guy in the background That's a nice shot. I like the leading lines. Good old Sherlock Holmes pub, a classic, with the phone box in the front. And a chap running through, did we get him? Yes, look at that. Look at that. I was on a slower shutter speed there, so we got him running through. Um, say he's running away from Sherlock Holmes. We're heading over the Millennium Bridge now. London Eye over there. Might have to do a sky replacement in Photoshop with that one. shot with a moody moody London eye let's change that setting there let's get my there we go oh we got a bit of a seagull in there as well let's go for a landscape uh, not really gonna work landscape wise with 50 mil. 
I don't know if you can see my screen, I just turned on the waveform there uh, and it's set for brightness and I always have that on. Um, I just forgot this time around to do this video but I, I, I normally have that on because then it's just the visual, I can visually see my highlights not being cropped and um, my shadows are not being cropped, everything's, all the data is being captured and that way when I get back to Lightroom I've got access to all of the data because if they're getting cropped then you can't pull the highlights back for example oh the rain is starting to come down now I'm gonna have to make a run for it there's a nice shot across the water oh look it's just wide enough for us to get Big Ben the eye and the city in the background Back a, bit. back a little bit more. I quite like that. I've never seen this shot before. Well, I've never done this shot before. I mean, if the sun was breaking through the skies, through, through the clouds there, and hitting the bridge, and you had a couple of. Um, buses and so on going across, that would be an epic shot, it really would. There's a couple of buses going across right now. Oh hold on, and we've got a boat coming. That boat comes into shot. So that's what I mean, you just have to, I found my frame, I've got my settings, and I'm just waiting for the right thing to happen. And thankfully enough, the right thing is happening sooner rather than later here, because otherwise there's a bird flying through as well. Otherwise, this video will be way too long. So I'm just waiting for that boat to break into frame. Would be better if it was in the middle of the frame rather than to the right of the frame. Here it comes, you can just see it now. Bird, oh, we've got a bit of everything in there. Got two London buses on the bridge, Big Ben, Millennium Wheel, Birds, Boat. I mean, yes, it could be better if I hung around a lot more, but for now, that's fine. So now we're just on the south bank side of the river. This is one of my favourite places to do the Everyday People project. Um, and also in the south bank there's some amazing sort of architecture that i love taking pictures of so we'll go over there soon he looks really cool let's see if we can get a shot of him quite like that Again, this fish and chip van with all its LED lights looks great. Would be much better if it was um, darker. The lights would really hit the concrete and reflect. Let's see if we let's see what we got here. Seagulls flying through the frame. People walking through. wait for these people to go and then it will just be him serving the people we've had a seagull flying through now that would be great oh oh there they come oh maybe not the rain's coming down but what i love about street photography is that all of those frames and pictures they're all one-off moments in time you you can't replicate that you can't reproduce those sort of pictures they're just one-off moments in time and I love that. I love that that can't be recreated. You're there, you shoot it, you get it or you don't. And if you don't, it really bugs me. <laughs> um, and that's, 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 that's practice, that's what practice does. Just get out, just shoot, practice, make, make mistakes. There we go, let's try this again.
All right, it's really coming down now, so I am going to find cover and then come out when the rain stops. Well, it absolutely came down cats and dogs then. <laughs> As you can see, very different. <laughs> Everything is super wet, but the South Bank at night time just takes on a totally different mood it turns into this sort of like sci-fi place if you get the hang of how the light works and expose for the lights and look at all these amazing sort of leading lines you have you can get some really really fantastic shots um, but I'm not gonna have time to do that I will do a separate video just on that um, but we we'll just grab some pictures around here while we still can like that's a fantastic shot if you got the right lens because you can have the sunset the sunset comes over it reflects in the windows there off the south bank and then you've got the millennium wheel and uh big ben peeking its head over there i mean with the 50 mil we're not going to be able to do that and the conditions are just not right always nice to have a person walking through look at the reflections we're getting as well it's fantastic people just put things into perspective so this big yellow staircase is brilliant I love it I love it how it stands out and if you had somebody walking up that staircase there would be center sometimes you have people just peering over up there out towards the water and that can be a fantastic shot as well um, let's see what we can get there's a big puddle here you can get a reflection of the wheel in the puddle if you had there's a lady walking towards us I don't know if she's gonna make it into the shot but I would like her to walk over but sometimes people see you taking a picture and they don't want to get involved but I love it when people get involved in, in, in the frame that's what I'm waiting for I love the way people interact with the city so you just got to play around with the right angles so that's that's a pretty good angle If we had a bit of sun and some people, it would look even, even better. But I'm just showing you what's going through my mind. Um, and then, yeah, just come out and play. You've got to be a bit careful in South Bank because the security guards, sometimes they don't like you hanging around taking pictures with your, your, your big camera and they tell you to move on. So just be respectful. Always remember to be respectful as a photographer. Um, you're not doing anything wrong coming here and taking pictures, but just, just, just be respectful, that's all. There's no difference if you're taking pictures with your camera or you're taking pictures with a mobile phone. It's exactly the same thing. This is a great shot. This is one of my favorite shots here. On a wide, it's fantastic. And if you get, you know, when the lighting's right and you get the right person walking down, this can look amazing. Just playing with different angles, coming close to, to the handrail. You can get some really, really fantastic shots here. So I'm just showing you here. And then yeah, I would just fish. I would get my frame like I am now, got my settings. And then I'm just, I'm, I'm literally just fishing. I'm just waiting for the right person to come in. And right now, the right person's not coming in. I'm not gonna spend ages here because time is running out and this video is getting very, very long. So we are going to uh, move on. Actually, we're going to go. So just while I'm here, I'm going to show you what's going through my mind. I've seen these lights up here. It's exposing for those lights. And then 
we've got a couple of people walking through. I'm just going to grab this. This is very, very sci-fi. Very, very sci-fi look. Down the bike. that shot would be much 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 better um, but it's not dark enough yet and there's a couple of other shots that I want to go and show you guys so we're gonna head over there like this shot here I love this shot here uh, let's see what we got it's very dark gonna need some ISO and bump it right up oh that lady's gonna come through I mean, it just looks like a spaceship. Don't know if any Star Trek fans are watching. Star Trek, Star Wars. I mean, it looks like Star Wars to me. Okay, we've got a lady coming. Let's just see if she's going to walk through this frame or she's gonna dodge me because she sees me taking a picture. But if she walks through, it'll be great. If she walked up those stairs, it'll be even better. Okay, wasn't great, but hey ho. And then up these stairs here. I mean, look at the shapes and lines and the light. It's just, it's just brilliant. It's just brilliant. Spend so much time here just taking shots and then just practicing and getting people to interact waiting for the right moment. Right, let's quickly get up these stairs and take one shot up here. Again, look at this. It's fantastic. So it's just gonna get center. got anyone but if we did sometimes you can get some people up there on the balcony it's a bit tight this lens for that really need something a bit wider but we'll come back and do that another time so unfortunately, that's all we're gonna have time for today. Um, but I would have liked to go further down and do a bit of St. Paul's and then head back over to St. Paul's and do some shots around there and head into Liverpool Street. But I've got a flat viewing this evening, so I've got to head back and do that. Uh, I will definitely endeavor to come out and do another round again soon. Um, I mean, look at all the lighting here and all the shapes up there. It's just fantastic. You can spend so much time around there. I'm definitely going to do one specifically for the South Bank and the Barbican as well. The Barbican is just such a fantastic place. I've got to take this shot before we go. That yellow um, thing there is, is spoiling the shot, but just get a practice shot in, you know? like. If we had someone walking through that frame, it would just look absolutely amazing. Yeah, just unfortunately today, we haven't got anyone walking through that frame and we're running out of time, so we've got to go. Um, but until the next time, remember, go out, practice, doesn't matter what the weather's like. If it's raining, you can do some amazing reflection shots um, and just, you just get a whole different glow uh, off the concrete. Um, 
it's, it's just oh, i've got to get this shot as well let me just try and get this shot there's a lady in the window I mean that's gonna look great when we get back to the computer and do some editing um, but yeah just get out and play go to areas go to different areas play take shots change your settings uh, look at look get a frame change your settings and wait wait for the right moment to to happen oh I just can't stop can I look at that it's a beautiful shot Okay, that's it. That's enough. Gotta go. Uh, adios. Until the next time, take care.